All right, time to check out the biggest performances from our prep football athlete, Aaron. You had a big one. Game of the week, this, this one was important. It was a crucial game. You know, they only have one more game in region play, and this was between one of the best teams in the area, Carrierville, and then Bartlett, who have shown that they can play against any team in the area this year, taking down many of the best opponents that they've come across. Now, just two minutes into senior night, one and 10 for the Panthers on the 44. Braylon Raglan takes the snap and hands it off to stand out running back Jaron Johnson, and he is completely out of there. No one can catch him. 56 yards all the way to the end zone to give Bartlett a 7-0 lead over Carryville. But then Carryville responds right here. A link up from Aiden Glover and Logan Davis. Davis cuts on the Jets, but he has to watch those feet. He hit that line. He was out of bounds around the nine-yard line. So the Dragons now here, third and nine. This time, Glover finds Eli Sisson. In the end zone, touchdown, and they make that one count. Just seconds left in the half here, and the Panthers, Johnson tries to barrel his way through, but he can't hold on and fumbles the ball, and Carrieville recovers it. Both sides knotted up at seven at halftime, but it's Bartlett that comes out with a victory on this one. They now sit at the top of the 6A Region 8. And Melrose going into battle against Kirby without their starting quarterback. Good thing they have that guy. Sophomore Ryan Brown on the carry. Breaks the tackle and the control. Check this out. Survives two punch out attempts at the football. 75 yards to the house to make it 6-3 Melrose. Golden Wildcats get it right back off a pick. But easy come, easy go. Monty loops with the interception. And my guy ain't just gone. He gone gone. The senior <laughs> athlete earning that distinction. Legging out an 80-yard pick six to put the Cougars out in front. But Ryan Brown. He was the X factor in this one, man. Another 40 yard touchdown. Melrose gets the win. All right, so it's no surprise that these two games also give us our three top plays of the week, which you can now vote on every week. So let's get into them. First off, uh, you got this one, Aaron. Bartlett's Jaron Johnson. Well, he takes the hand off and says, got a blast. And he is out of there, as I just told you a little earlier. 56 yards all the way to the house at Port Dragon. He tried. He tried his best. Give a 7 0 lead there, but play number two. High scoring affair with Melrose and Kirby. Ryan Brown, big reason why. Breaks this one open, 75 yards to the house. Check this out. Survives the two swipes of the football. You ain't getting the bread basket from him. Breaking tackles and the score puts Melrose up to start the game. <laughs> And from that same game, I'm going to leave this one to you, Avery. Top play, numero uno goes to Monty Lukes. Lukes, he is your father. See <laughs> you <laughs> later. 80-yard pick six for Lukes to put the Googers in front. The W goes to Melrose. That is our top play of the week. Thank you to everybody who voted. And something a little new we're doing. i got to pull them out here among all the new things we're doing with the new show. Helmet stickers rewarding our top performances of the week. we got these nice new helmets. You know, mm -hmm. I really I slaved over a hot spray can. Uh, for these. So oh, I'm well, you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. They look good. Yeah, okay. I thought you sent them off. They look all right. No, I did not. Oh, did wow. Not. Shout out to everybody who helped me out with these helmets. Uh, you saw those earlier touchdowns from Ryan Brown. He had two in the what we showed you, but he had 19 carries, 232 yards, and four touchdowns. Plus, he got the W. So, Ryan Brown, helmet sticker for you, my friend. He went full beast mode. Aaron? Yeah, now I have to go with the obvious choice. Like I said, I got to see him in action at the Bartley Carryville game. Braylon Raglan. The thing about it is that offense is dynamic. It is their bread and butter. 319 yards per game. 106 of them in the air in large part due to that Georgia State commit. So obviously he gets a sticker. I don't know if my nails will let me be great. They will. And a sticker for you, Braylon Raglan. All right, coming up, Bronny and Bryce James are just a few of the big names in the Mid-South Classic Saturday night. We break it down next.